to do that, I, I want to just quickly go over what um, yeah, how, how dis, uh, disinformation fits into a whole continuum of um, ideas from truth to white lies, uh, to deceit, actual deceit, to misinformation, and then disinformation. Disinformation among them all is actually designed specifically to harm. And it is frequently considered an act of war. And, uh, and it's, it's, um, and, and, and it's a strategic use of um, false information in order to bring harm to one's opponent. Now, it can also be in, in uh, business. Uh, companies can engage in disinformation with uh, their competitors. Interestingly, um, what happens with disinformation is it destroys the trust, the cooperation um, that businesses need to flourish. And it destroys and undermines society in general. And, uh, and that's why I think it's such a pernicious uh, phenomenon. Um, it, it creates chaos. It succeeds when others, uh, it succeeds when others spread um, the disinformation as misinformation, like a destructive virus. And what I, might, what I mean by that is that when for business, for, for disinformation to work, it needs to be repeated and it needs to spread. And, and that usually means that not everybody who is, is uh, spreading uh, disinformation knows that they're spreading disinformation. They've heard it so many times and, 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 it, and it, it had enough appeal that they, can, they agree that it must be true and then they, they spread it along. And that kind of repetition uh, brings it into the kind of information ecosystem.